guys, welcome back to my art channel. If you're new, hi, I'm May, and I make digital fluid art and digital pour art with cells. And today we're going to be looking at how to make expanded multi-bubble cells with Ibis Paint. If you haven't used this program before, it's a free program that you can use with Android or iOS, which is pretty cool. And if you already have the program, you can get started. And today we're going to be opening up our canvas. And I like to start with 4x2.8 with 600 dpi, which should get you about 2400 by 1680. Hit OK. And shrink our screen down. Like so. And today I thought I'd kind of do like an ocean, deep sea ocean kind of vibe here with different colors of blue and aqua. So if you want to screenshot the screen and copy these colors and follow along with that exactly go right ahead otherwise you can pick whatever color palette you like and then we're going to pick a brush I haven't decided what brush I'm going to use yet today I'm trying to think what would be a good one Let's do gauche mix. Should be an interesting one. And then I like to do it on a second layer. And we'll start with a black background. Sorry for all those little blue screens popping up. I just recently reinstalled Ibis Paint. And every time you do it, it always lets you know where all the settings are. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, you'll notice some um, kind of a known issue with Ibis paint after a while. I noticed after I've done about 50 pieces of artwork it can start to lag really badly and sometimes clearing your cache can work but the easiest way is just to uninstall and reinstall the program. Um, but make sure to download all your artwork because if you don't and you uninstall it all your artwork will disappear. So keep that in mind. And let's start with some intense blue. And as you can see this brush has a size restriction on the gauche. So to fix that all you do is go into settings and turn that max thickness all the way up and then you'll have no restrictions on the size of your brush. Which will make it a lot easier when wanting to throw down some paint. Like so. Like I said, today we're just going to be throwing paint down in random patterns. So that way we can get the technique of how to create the cells down pat first so that way you learn the technique and how to create them and then you can go off and create whatever patterns you like and you can make it as simple or as complicated as you like but having those techniques down first makes it a little easier Sorry, my dog just came to say hello. Hi, Lexi. <laughs> Oop, that a little. I, I find the gauche brush has a very interesting stamp pattern. It's pretty cool. a little bit of white. And once you have a pattern you like, we're going to create our digital pour image so that way we can create ourselves. I do have a tutorial already up on YouTube on just how to create a digital pour image that goes into more in depth. Whereas I'm just going to kind of do this quickly. So then we can move on to the cell techniques. So that way these videos aren't too, too long. Oops, did not move that over quite enough. There we go. Filters. Now with this technique we're going to want a lot of our paint to be overlapping with lots of lines and textures. So 
Okay then. Like so. And I think today we'll go with a more swiped look. And then I like to always further edit it with a special pen so that way it doesn't look too, too uniform. And get as if we've been tilting the canvas more than one way. <laughs> Oops. And I said before, you can always start where you're moving your digital pour image directly from the special pen, but I find it's not as fluid and doesn't move as easily as the Procreate liquify brush. So I find when you do your base with your filters, and you can just kind of micro edit it a little bit with the drag feature. And so I'm going to sit there for hours and constantly move little by little. And that's looking pretty cool. So, what we're going to do, actually, I might turn the my screen brightness down a little low. I might turn that just a little bit. I don't want it to make it so we can't see either. There we go. So what we're going to be doing today is we're actually back out of the liquify pen so that way it kind of sets the paint and then we're going to go back in and if you haven't watched my tutorial already on expand bubbles this is kind of the base that we'll be using to make our multi bubble cells. So we're going to zoom in because you're going to want to do it where there's a lot of lines. So we'll take this spot for example. It's pretty cool. And start off with a size of around maybe 100, give or take. We're going to start expanding out our bubbles how we want them. So, they look like little jelly beans. <laughs> you can do as many or as little as you like, and really get it to expand outwards, and do solids, and little ones, and then you get the tiny little flyaways, like so. I'm still trying to concentrate it where you have some line work. As you'll see, we'll need that texture and those overlapping lines. There's what's gonna create the multi-bubbles with inside these little cells here. Which is kind of an interesting technique. So once you have your bubbles how you like them, we're then gonna go to the revert icon which is over to the right here and it looks like a little eraser and then we're going to very gently swipe inside those bubbles you've made just a little bit like so and I'll start to create these multi-level bubbles and what it's doing is because we did it where there's lots of lines. It's trying to revert the paint back to its original image, but in tiny little circles, just what creates that kind of the multi bubble effect, which is pretty cool. And that's why we do it over sections that have lots of lines and texture. So as you can see up here when we did it with this one where it wasn't a whole lot of line work it kind of just creates one large little bubble kind of like that too where you've done it where there's lots of war lines this is where you really start to get those multi little bubbles and those tiny tiny little cells Is this weird 3D kind of dimensional look, which is 
kind of interesting. Like so. And you can do them very compact, or like I so you can go back to your expand. And you can do them really large. Like I find if you want to do them, if you want to do it where there's not a lot of lines like we had here, but you do it where there's a few lines, the bigger you do them, it will also kind of help create that effect as well. And the nice thing with Ibis Paint is if you don't like a placement, even when you're in Liquify, it lets you go back one step at a time, which is kind of nice. So then you can kind of place bubbles where you like them, and if you don't like it, you can go back, and it kind of just gives you a little bit more control, which is kind of nice. So I'll make some really big guys here, like so. And then I'll do, trigger down and do a little of those flyaway cells. And then you can do it even tinier and do the little torch bubble cells and get really, really in depth with it. And you can take hours to do it, or you can take minutes. One thing that's nice about this is kind of like finger painting in a way. And it's there to help you relax. So if you only want to relax for 10 minutes, you can do it for 10 minutes. If you really want to have a long night of it, you can crack open a bottle of something you enjoy. You can do it for hours and create some pretty interesting abstract art. So once you got your really big guys placed down, again we're going to go over to the revert icon there. The erase icon off to the right. And then start very gently pulling down those bubbles. Another thing I find very interesting with a special pen is there's an option where you can decrease the strength after you've placed down your cells, which is kind of interesting. And I'll show you that in a second. Once I've gotten these little multi-bubble cells going on here. Like I said you can drag them a little bigger if you don't want them so tiny. You can kind of swipe it over the whole thing to get kind of a layered look. Like so. Just have like one multi-layered bubble. Sorry, that's my water bottle. Make sure to stay hydrated. So once you get into that flow-like state where you kind of just let your brain take over and relax, the time can fly by and then you'll get thirsty. <laughs> so the one thing I find really cool is after you do your multi-bubble cells, you go over to this icon here, the kind of the settings tool, the three little dots. And right now I have to strength that 100 but you can drop it down and it will revert your work back so you can kind of see the progress which is pretty cool and see how it kind of so if you want a little less you can pull it down a little less and right now it's pulling the whole thing whereas I think if we back out I wouldn't use this too too much yeah, it doesn't matter if you back out, it will always kind of do that, which is pretty cool. So that's one you can play with it too if you want the strength down a little less. But keep in mind it will also revert back the right back to the original image with everything you've done. So if you want a little less, you can do that too and kind of play with it, which is pretty fun. But we'll make some more. So those ones were kind of small. Let's do some really, really big guys. This is so fun. Like I said, you can fill your entire canvas, or you can do very little. Let's make some monster guys and see what happens. Those are really big. Holy smokes. <laughs> and then do some medium sized ones. Like so. And then we're going to go back to that revert icon. Like I said, you don't have to do, if you have your cursor or your thickness smaller and do little dots on the inside, so you're going to get these really tiny ones, but you can always 
try and match it close to the size and just tap it a few times and see what bubbles kind of come up. You want more of a larger bubble kind of feel, like so. And have some more large multi-bubble cells instead of the smaller ones. Like so. And then if you want to make them more rippled and not necessarily as uniform, you can use the drag option or my favorite one is just going into the ripple and dropping your distortion down and playing with those wing dings and your radius. You can kind of just put a slight little ripple effect over them or you can make it even larger and have it kind of pulled or you can have tons of little waves in them. Just a very little wave. Just to kind of get rid of that super uniform bubbled look. Like so. And then with the really big guys, you can always go back into your drag tool and just kind of push in those edges a little bit. Just so that way it's not like a perfect circle. And just give it more of that kind of liquidy feel. Then you can even drag these out if you want them be more pronounced or as if you're dragging them off the screen and make your cells a little more fluid like so and yeah and that's how you make expanded multi bubble cells on ibis paint and it's a pretty fun technique to play with I think so at least and you can come up with some pretty trippy ideas and yeah, so if you guys recreate any of the artwork or try any of these techniques, follow me on Instagram or on here and tag me in any of your artwork because I really would love to see all your guys' creations and what you can come up with because like I said, it's, it's an unlimited, it's unlimited, yeah, I can't speak. <laughs> it's limitless, the possibilities with this. And yeah, thanks for watching and check out my other tutorials that I have on YouTube and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!